Yeah. I'm literally, I don't know if I'm coming or going. It's it's like fucking mental. But anyway, right. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today, I've got my lovely friend and probably oldest blogging friend, Fleur of Fleur de Force. Hello, my darling. How are you getting on? I'm so excited to see you. <laughs> um, I'm all right. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing good today, actually. I'm having a positive day, but finding it really weird that it's a Saturday and it doesn't feel any different to the weekdays. Like, that's what I'm finding very odd at the moment. It no, feels like, like we're in a never-ending apocalyptic weekend because Mike's home, which is just odd in the week. I'm like, what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally going from like a weird um real enjoyment of loving having everyone around to thinking everybody just get out of my face. <laughs> get out of my face. I can't Yeah, yeah. Do anything. So I suppose I mean so yeah. how, I mean how, what have you been doing? A lot of cleaning, a lot of like spring cleaning pretty boring stuff actually but i have to say like I de i've definitely like reconnected with the simple things in life and slowed down a lot which i'm kind of happy about um i don't have you been like clearing out your wardrobe and stuff like that everyone seems to have been doing that but i haven't done that yet no i haven't done that i'm trying we moved ben ben moved bedroom so that was a really good distraction yeah ben literally <laughs> he's, think... such, he's so hard to please so we did up we did up I've moved around for, for like home office so we did up his room but he literally can find something wrong in anything he's he's such a diva Ben so um, <laughs> so that was quite stressful but also very <laughs> very distracting so we enjoyed that and then um, and now I'm trying now I'm reorganizing my actual office space which is a mammoth task like shut the door on that <laughs> Well, that's the thing. Is I think sometimes yeah. you can't. I think I don't. I think it's too soon to start getting involved in massive, overwhelming projects. Actually, because everything's quite overwhelming anyway, isn't it? My problem with the big projects, and to be honest, like in terms of being overwhelmed, I'm actually quite lucky because River's only two. It, you know what it's like with toddlers. They demand so much of your attention all the time that to do a big project like that. It is difficult because I get the probably three hour nap slot in the afternoon where I could properly do it, which is when we're having this conversation, which is why I was like, three o'clock, it's the magic time. Um, but also, like, you, you just don't get the time, or even if you kind of try to do it with them around, it's just manic. And you're like, that's actually what's kind of keeping me sane in a way is that I'm kind of just going along with her routine anyway, and she's completely oblivious, which is actually quite magic. So I feel like very happy to have a toddler at this point. Yeah. Even though it's stressful and I'm doing a lot less, and there's a lot less Netflix and chill than everyone else, I think. Um, there's just like Paw Patrol on Netflix and, and not chill. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I haven't watched any Netflix, but I've watched 500 episodes of Paw Patrol. Yeah, I don't know if I've watched as much TV. I think I'm like, I've never watched that much news in my life. You know me, I live in my little bubble. I'm not connected to the real world very, very regularly. And I've been kind of weirdly addicted to watching the daily updates from, from uh, Downing Street, which is so odd for me. Oh my, because... my whole day revolves around it. I'm like, quick, it's five o'clock, quick, quick. Yeah. River, shh, shh. <laughs> Those daily things that I think make it really nice, but it, obviously it's not a nice thing to have to watch and they're not talking about particularly positive things but it, having that routine in your day you know what I think you know the clap for carers I think that should be every night I know well apparently it's when, amazing. Yeah, it was amazing and I mean I literally walked straight out of the door we were we were like let's time it for when we take Archie because we've been taking Archie for his walk really after dark so that we don't bump into anybody and um we walked out and I just was kind of like, because Ben was like, no one's going to do it. You know, he's 17, so he's like cynical about everything. And when I walked out, <laughs> and every, everyone was clapping. And literally, I burst into tears, and Archie just started barking at everyone. So it was like... <laughs> but they, the, what are the yeah, I mean... doing coping? They must be thinking, what the hell is going on? You're here the entire time. The dogs. They're, they're loving it. I'm literally like, this is the best thing ever. It's like a dog holiday. 
like when we had the amazing weather the last few days, we've literally been outside loads as well in the garden. So the dogs are all loving it. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like nature seems just really okay with this. Everything's fine in the world. It's just, it's just humans, isn't it? Really. It's absolutely bananas. Isn't it? I go through phases of being like really positive of like, actually, this is a really good, like enforced, like kind of pause button on everyone's brains. And it's almost like enforcing people to get in touch with the smaller things in life and like all of that. And then I'm like, oh my God, like it's the end of the world. And I just go through like (laughs) every two days, I'll go from one to the other. At the moment I'm on the positive end, but it's just bananas. Like I, and you think about like even at Christmas, I just you wouldn't have thought in March we'd be in this situation. It's crazy. No, I said to Michael this morning, I was literally like, "Do you think anyone knew this was going to happen?" Anyone? He was like, "No, I don't. I just, I mean, nobody's prepared, are Bill they?" Gates, you know, that um, the thing with Bill Gates talking about the fact that uh, it's going a virus is going to take out the human race, not completely take us out, but you know what I mean. He basically said, "This is what's going to happen." Yeah, you I'm need to have you not know, seen that. You need to see it. I don't know. You know what? I am obsessed with like zombie movies and like dystopian future teenage novels and all that. I'm really sad like that. <laughs> and I, every time something like this happens, genuinely, I like track. So I've been de- daily tracking the news on coronavirus since the 24th of January. And I remember it because we were out in Portugal on my dad's birthday and we all started talking about it. And we were like, this is. My brother-in-law, who's like a real conspiracy theorist, was like, this is going to be the one. He's like, this is going to be big. Um, So I've been following it since then. Everyone thought I was nuts. Literally, I I remember having a conversation with the girls. We obviously have the same, for people that don't know, we obviously have the same management team. So your girls are my girls too. Yeah. Um, I was having a conversation with them. And they were literally like, you're crazy, you're crazy. I was like, no, honestly, we're all going to be locked inside, blah, blah, blah. I was like... I was like, make sure you uh, you make sure you've got got some food supplies and blah blah blah. And they're like, Flair, you are like, but you knew. Here we are. We're here. here we are. And I hate to say like oh, I told you so, but I was worried about it from January, genuinely. Yeah, I just haven't been. I but I am the queen of in denial. You know, I literally. Yeah. I, I love that. You're like a ray of sunshine. I'm just literally like everything will be okay. No, no, no. It won't. It won't matter to us. And then I'm like, oh, oh, look, it matters to us. Um, yes, but there must be, there's going to be some good, good out. And actually, I'm, I'm fairly happy. I mean, for one, I'm having alcohol every day, and I don't feel bad about it. I've rid I mean, myself. Three o'clock now. I've, I've, I'm like, yeah, this is great. Literally, I, I think that. I, you know what? It's actually, I've just stopped feeling guilty about things, anything. I've just removed it. Because it's such a way. Yeah, that is actually quite nice. I feel like in day to day life, you feel guilty when you're not working, right? You're like, oh, I need this. And especially doing something like we do, where it's basically you work as hard as you want to. Like you can keep, always keep producing stuff if you want to, keep putting out content. And I felt guilty when I'm not working for the last 10 years. And now I'm like, oh, actually, there's more important stuff going on and yeah it has been quite refreshing from that perspective yeah i mean i'm to be fair i don't think people really really care about the latest foundation or at the moment um but i'm just i'm carrying on because to me that blogging like an idiot is what makes me feel like me basically so it's like if i don't carry on doing those things i'll completely lose a sense of purpose. I mean, it's not like I have to really look after Ben anymore. I just have to make sure I can feed him, which is tough at the minute because getting stuff from the shops is really hard. So I feel kind of useless on that front. So for me, all I need to know is that I'm still going to have a fully functioning website w- when we come out of it the other end. And so that's what I'm. That's what I'm focusing on. It's maintaining. Don't let go. Yeah. That's the thing funny like yeah hang on that's how I feel too it's funny because I think a lot of people um a lot of people's reaction to me at least been like oh well like it's fine for work for you because everyone will be at home and they'll be consuming content like never before and I'm like well there is that but equally there's two things firstly like where you know our, our money comes from most of the time is brand deals and that's all completely either paused or gone away or whatever there's a few yeah. things going on but I think it feels very inappropriate to post them right now so 
basically that's gone. But then the other side of it is every other person that does what we do is posting a shit ton of content. So the feeds are like flooded with content, especially on Instagram. Yeah. So whilst people are there more, I feel like it's not getting any more views because everyone's got so much to look through. In certain ways, I'm a real worrier, but then at the same vein, at the moment, I just actually feel quite calm about work because I do feel like we're in the lucky position of, like, if we can ride this out and hang on, it will be fine and it will pick up at the end. Do you know what I mean? I agree. So I just feel quite calm. And in comparison to a lot of people who's, like, if, you, you know, you've lost your job, I, I like, I'm just feeling lucky for just being able to carry on and have it ticking over. You know, obviously no one's going to be doing super, super well, but as long as you can keep the audience there, we'll get through it and we'll get out the other side yeah. and hopefully we'll be back to some kind of normality. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I don't expect to get, gain anything. I just want to not drown, to not like sink. Just keep, I'm just going to keep paddling and just, and then yeah. wait until things are better because they will be better. They will be better. I mean, at the end of the day, when all of this ends, everybody's going to want to look good and feel good. And I'm going to want to talk about it. I always have. And brands are going to want to, I mean, <laughs> they're, going to, they're going to have some product to sell, aren't they, really? So it's like... Uh, I also think, I also think the, the market, it's scary. because it, it all depends on how long, sorry, the sun has just come out. Oh, my God. Hang on, I'm going to go put, I'm going to put this line down. One second. The sun has come out. Brands, it, it, you know, it depends how long it goes on for, really, doesn't it? And nobody knows at this point, so I don't know. How long do you think it's going to go on for? I, I just keep thinking about September. I just really, keep thinking really? things will be better in September. And whether, the, whether or not that's like nothing will happen before then but I think actually things will be good in September that's what I think I'm sticking to that I have a feeling it's gonna be like this until like midsummer. then then they'll relax things a bit and then it'll get worse again and we'll have to go back again to like September October yeah so I, I feel like we're gonna have a blip in the middle. I don't know maybe who knows I mean Michael's got a theory that they'll literally like do 12 week cycles of like freedom and then lockdown again yeah but um he's probably read that somewhere and i don't read anything because it's dangerous for me because then i never sleep are you getting up and doing your normal beauty stuff in the mornings what's what's happening no no, no. <laughs> you know what the one thing that's keeping me really positive and keeping me going at the moment is working out and because of that and because mike and i because we've got river we obviously have to alternate when we work out unless she's asleep which i don't want to work out three o'clock in the afternoon so we kind of like base it around then and normally if i'm working out like say at like 10 or 11 o'clock i won't get ready until then i'll just i'll like literally get from pajamas to gym gear work out then have a shower and then put on like jeans and a t-shirt or um joggers i'm wearing joggers at the moment i like everybody that's just posting these pictures where they're in these amazing dresses and heels and makeup i'm like handbags kill me <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I just, I no, I get it. You know what? Like, I think if I didn't have River, I probably would be, I'd probably look like this because I obviously like, this is not what I look like now. <laughs> I made sure I uh, washed my hair and put some makeup on to be, to be on camera. And obviously, I'm still filming, so I'll do that like once or twice a week. But apart from that, no makeup. I'm using all the skincare, all of it. It's yeah. great. My skin has never been happy. <laughs> people are going to be really into skincare aren't they i mean i can see already like into on the blog i think people are really interested although they still love it love a bit of makeup and also i think makeup for this kind of meeting that's what people want to know about yeah how yeah, to, yeah, yeah. just like a little bit i'm trying i promised myself that i would be normal i would get up but actually my normal is not very normal. I don't actually get dressed unless I'm going out, which is really odd. But we don't have a normal like work life. I don't like, I'm the same. Like if I'm just at home, I won't be putting any makeup on. How's everything else at home? Is everyone, is, is everything chill? It, How, yeah, I'm, how's I'm, Michael, how's your mum? Yeah, mum's fine. Well, um, we're just trying because I, you know, I mean not for a few weeks, but because I've been into London, I'm trying just to not be too 
close with mum because you don't know yeah. about, like things, yeah. things and everyone experiences things differently and also now that they've like locked down locked down I she's not going out for her walks because she can't not say hello to people and ask them what the name of their dog is I, I busted her the other day because I was literally like, Mum, you can go for your, you can't go to the shop anymore, but you can go and have your walk, but you must stay two metres away from anyone else. Yes, 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 darling, yes, yes, yes. Off she, off she goes, off she goes. And then she comes back, she says, oh, I met a lovely Dalmatian called Bertie. And I was like, Mum, how do you know the name Did of the dog? <laughs> she was like, I just asked. And I was like, Mum, don't speak to people because it's, you can't like really have a conversation from two meters and actually you're just you're really cute and people will not be able to say no to you and they'll break their like self quarantine self social distancing rules <laughs> i went to drop some groceries off for my granny um yesterday who i think is a similar age to your mom's 82 yeah mom's 80 yeah and um, she actually seemed to get it. So like, I knocked on the door and she like looked through the window and was like talking at me, talking to me through the window. I was like, yes, granny, you get it, you get it. Yeah. Um, I think she goes up now because she's got dementia as well. And she, I think some days she's like, no, I can't go near any, anyone. And the other day she's like walking up to the village shop and you have to be like, get back in your house. Like, don't, don't go into the shop. I'll do it. This is the thing. But, it's like some days it's like Groundhog Day and then other days it isn't. So, but I mean, it's all a bit <laughs> Groundhog Day, isn't it? I'm just, just, I think we, I mean, I just literally, it's, it's, the minute I start thinking about it too much, I kind of completely and utterly lose any kind of adult way of dealing with it. One thing I'm actually really enjoying is having something of a routine because I've never, ever had that before with my work life, like ever in terms of, obviously I have, have it with River, but you know, some days with work, I'll be away. Some days I'll be working from home. Some days I'll be filming. Some days I'll be with River not working. And like now it's like, well, I've got this routine and we do that and we do that. And we don't. Actually, that's like getting me, getting me through. And I like, you do realize why people say like having a routine is awesome. And I've never been able to do it before until it was enforced. And actually every cloud has silver lining, right? I don't know if I've found my routine yet. It, it's sort of been different every day so far. But, um, really? yeah, I keep doing different things, like opening different cupboards and Michael's, Michael's, <laughs> Michael's at work. I know, it's like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm starting here. I'm literally, I don't know what I'm doing. I like, I've got, I think I've got a plan. I've got a list and then I look at my list and I've just drunk two bottles of wine and I haven't done any, uh, any... <laughs> What are you drinking at the moment? This is a red wine that I ordered at 1.16 in the morning one night last week from Majestic Wine when I found out that they do <laughs> next day delivery. But it didn't cut, it wasn't next day delivery because that was like a myth. And then it came like a few days later. So this is a red wine. It's a Merlot. I don't even know what it is. But I just, I ordered uh, 12 bottles of it. In the in the middle of the night, basically. <laughs> because I love that. I, I was asking you because I've discovered this new gin, which I put on my stories already, so you, you might have seen it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. Anyway. Yeah, show me. Um, so this this gin I have since Christmas, and I haven't opened it. Firstly, I'm gonna sell it to you. Ree. Look at this bottle. Oh. So beautiful. Um. And I didn't realise, I just posted about opening it the other day. It's the most amazing company. So they plant, they have always like planted trees. Um, their factory is completely run with um, sustainable energy. They're like super, you can, if you live locally, you can take the bottles back in to get refilled. All of that jazz. Amazing stuff. But they've just started um, producing hand sanitizer for hospitals, which I know is not completely unheard of because a lot of the big companies are doing it. Yeah. Um, along with pie skin care doing it as well. I thought that was awesome from an alcohol company. And so every bottle you buy now, they send you a free little bottle of hand sanitizer. And they also sell the big bottles of hand sanitizer. And if you buy one, it goes to help fund more hand sanitizer being sent to hospitals. So <laughs> let's all get wasted on this <laughs> chip. And also, alcohol is very antiviral. Oh, 
<laughs> on your hands, maybe. <laughs> like, surely that's all the same. In your body. Who knows? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's one of those those really bad um, false rumor misinformation things. Fleur, I am going to be fucking huge by the end of this. Right, we all are. We all are, and that that will warp our perception of what's like the norm. I hope so. everyone's going to come out. Of Oh my god! I'm literally like, I, it, whenever ever we do come out, I'm gonna come out like a month later. I do feel like I need to put a lock on the fridge. I know it's literally awful, and I just keep going and looking in it because I feel bad for like just randomly eating stuff. So I just go and like look in the fridge, and then I go away again. The moment you wake up, what am I gonna eat? for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yeah. I woke up to a text this morning from Ben and he sent it at 1.32 this morning and it said, whoever is eating my Monster Munch needs to stop. At two o'clock in the morning? Yeah, like basically, they were, we'd, Michael and I had had a bag each, but we thought it was from our stash because we also bought Monster Munch. Steve, uh, Steve, Ben's dad, did a, like a food delivery to us of stuff for Ben. And um, it, it oh, was yeah. Monster Munch. And um, basically, we've, we've accidentally eaten two bags of Ben's Monster Munch and he's incensed. <laughs> I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah. Trust me, the more I can get the stuff, the better. <laughs> Taking every opportunity possible. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're all mad here. <laughs> he is, that's for sure. <laughs> We're going to need gin. Gin? <laughs> you know what I was going to say to you as well, right? You know that I, I'm like always colour my own hair. But you don't, do you? You go to a salon. Have you got a plan for like hair? Mm, you know what? I actually, I only go to a salon once every six months so like my natural color i've got quite a lot of blonde in it at the moment but about six months ago my natural color was like down to here so i don't mind that look so like mine that's all natural that darker i'm all right because i'm not i don't have that full blonde my mum is freaking out my mum gets her roots done every three weeks oh so like oh my god what do i do do i just go fully gray i'm like mm. I don't really know. I don't know the answer. I told her to, get, to order a box dye or something. I was like, I can put it on my Tesco order and bring it over. And she was like, um, no, 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 I'd mess it up. But it's difficult. It's more difficult with blonde hair, I think, than dark hair. Yeah. Apparently all the hair dye is sold out anyway. Is it? Yeah. You can't get a box on Amazon for love nor money. Oh my gosh, so I didn't know that because yeah. I haven't looked. There you yeah, go. I, I went sense, on... So. But you know, I used to work with Clairol, but my contract was up like at the end of last year, well, beginning of this year actually, and um, and so I and I've always bought my Clairol because I can't, I don't want to call in a hair dye. Do you know what I mean? It's like, but um, so I went, I went, huh? How often do you do it? Well, not often enough, blimey. Um, I usually do. <laughs> I probably do the actual full colour every four months and then in between I'll do the root touch up because you know it's like a 10 minute thing you can do just the which I'm probably going to do mind you all my grey is literally I don't know if you can see because I've got lights but um it's everywhere now but I do, and, <laughs> and in my eyebrows as well do I tint my eyebrows anyway so I don't think I would notice in my eyebrows do you tint your own eyebrows yeah, I have done for ages. You're right. They charge you like fifteen salon. Yeah. yeah. What do you use then to tint your eyebrows? They charge you eyelid dye brow. Oh. I've used it for maybe two years, three years, and like because they charge you like fifteen quid, and it's basically the same stuff. Yeah. So I just go in if I get, if I get threading, I probably get threading once every like two months three months and then I just pluck my own ones and then die but I had microblading at Christmas and I was literally due for the top up because it's worked like you know with microblading only some of it takes so like mine's like 
half of it hasn't taken properly. So it's a bit patchy. But I was due for the top up because you do it in like two sessions. You do the first round, see how it takes, and then you do the second round to like fix it up. That was due a week last Friday. So obviously like I had, I cancelled it. This was before the lockdown, but I was just, I was being extra careful just in case so I cancelled it. And um, now I'm like, oh no, what's it going to, if we don't get out till September, basically it'll all have faded out and it'll have waste of time. We will get out before September, but, but our, I think we won't feel like we're in the swing until September. That's my vibe. I love it. I, I'm like, really knows all. <laughs> I'm, taking, I'm taking my timeline advice from you. Yeah, no, <laughs> it was literally like, I've been in denial until like 10 days ago, basically. Like, just like, nope, 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 nope. And then like, ah, it's real. But um, yeah, so these are really, this is really important. This, I wonder if that, if your eyelaw hair, um, eyebrow tint is, is still actually available online though, because people have gone wild if anyone's watching and they're thinking about doing it themselves um dark brown is fine if you're like my level of color because there's either dark brown or black and i know a lot of blonde people would be like oh dark brown but actually like you, you you wouldn't want a blonde one so yeah um dark brown is everything else about that. okay top tip <laughs> cheers <laughs> cheers um anyway fleur it was so nice to catch up i mean god I, it's, this, it is, we're so lucky, I keep saying we're so lucky, but because you actually can connect with people properly, Thanks, thank you internet and clever people of the world, because otherwise you, we'd literally it lose is, touch, wouldn't we? I've never felt closer to all of my friends, like genuinely, like my group of girlfriends, I text, I've got three groups of like close girlfriends and then obviously like individual people, most people I'm in touch with every single day, like most of my friends. Yeah, this is, is it. Uh, We're all going to love each other so much more. Dun, dun, like Baywatch. Dun, 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 and then the slow embrace. Yeah, and cheers. Cheers. I mean, I love a cry, me. It's my one of my favourite things. Anyway, Fleur, thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining me. I'm so, hap I'm so happy you seem happy and everything is going well. Keep, um, you know, topping up with your antivirals. Oh, yeah. The antiviral gin. Oh, everybody as well. Oh. Obviously, you know who Fleur is, but I'll put um, all of Fleur's info in the <laughs> description box. I'm literally like that on YouTube anyway, so it's like... Right, they'll be like, well, yeah, well, we know who that is, you dick. But never mind. Anyway. <laughs> bye. Bye, 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 bye. Right. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, that's it.